my current company, if I win the election, I will retire. Not really retire, I'll quit. I've been with them 20 years. It's been a great company. I love it. My son, my oldest son, is going to take it over. So uh, I will completely step away from it. And which company is that? It's called the Garland Company. We're a commercial roofing uh, manufacturer and roof consultant. I work with U of I, Avista, um, a lot of school districts. Um, I handle all the roofing issues, anything from helping them with leaks to complete re-roofing project management. Um, it's one of the things that I will also bring to the table with commissioners is that I've got a good construction background, a good legal construction document um, pro program background, as well as um, you know having the ability to do project management. So if and when we do run into new building acquisitions, which hopefully we don't need to, because I think they've got quite a few, or remodels, or like what happened with the old courthouse, we won't have these cost overruns. We won't have these hidden hidden issues suddenly pop up and cost the taxpayers an extra couple million dollars. Um, because I will be there with my thumb on it, making sure it, it happens correctly. And we do our due diligence. Yeah, no, everything everything we buy for the all the signs, t-shirts, everything are, are being purchased locally. I'm a big fan of shopping locally. I'm not gonna make the mistake as some other, some others have in the past of going outside to Spokane just because it's cheap. Um, I want to support the community. I want to support the county. One of the premises of my run centers around some of the things I've seen happen in the county. Um, you know, with the courthouse remodel, it went over budget. Um, when I've talked to some of the people I've talked to in the county so far, the, the fact that the, the service and the public service seems to have kind of gone by the wayside. And so one of the things I'm gonna, I want to run on is, is I want to bring service back to public service. The people of the county are our customers. Now, people will argue whether the citizens are the customer or the citizens are the boss, and I, and I agree that technically they're the boss. But we need to treat them like a customer and not like the boss. Because we all know that, you know, if you have a bad boss or you have a boss you don't like, you tend to, you know, kind of do a halfway job at work, cut out early, maybe take a long lunch. But if it's your customer and you rely on them for your livelihood and you serve at their pleasure, you take very good care of them.